Good morning and welcome to Florida Day 2! We're off to Animal Kingdom today. As you can tell, little outfit repeater. I love it, I love this outfit. I love this top that Pete made for me. It's actually perfect, so thanks Pete. What are our plans today? We have been obsessively looking for a Tusker House breakfast, including when Pete's jet lag struck at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning. Nothing. It's our favorite breakfast, so we're gonna keep checking because we are not going to be foiled, or I hope not. We do have a backup plan. If there is no Tusker House, we're gonna head to Rainforest Cafe for breakfast, which I think looks like it starts from 8.30. And because we're Landry's card holders, we shouldn't need a reservation. And we've also got a ton of Landry's gift cards and rewards and things that we've accumulated over time. And quite a lot of you have signed up for the Landry's card off my recommendation. So as I previously shared, like an affiliated link if you sign up I get points as well so we do have quite a lot to use so that would be a good way of using those up but we'll see fingers crossed for Tusker House though because it is our fave and this is our only full Animal Kingdom day on this trip what else do we have booked Yak and Yeti for dinner I think I mentioned that again that's another way to use that Landry's Club card and the Landry's Club rewards and then we just want to get all the rides done that we love in Animal Kingdom. I know Oscar is very excited for Everest. We'll have to show you his outfits. Hi! Hi! Are you exploring? Yeah. Look at you. You look very cute. I know. <laughs> and then it's a little bit chilly this morning, so we've got his Everest jersey that we picked up on our last trip. Not only do I have the awesome shirt that Pete made me, but it goes perfectly with this one from Next. We're all ready to go. It is quarter to seven, ten to seven. We're heading in for early magic hours. And when it's time to find hope, we know the way. <laughs> to Tusker House, see if we can maybe get a walk in, fingers crossed. And then we want to do safari, an early morning safari, because it's a bit chilly. So it'll be a good one, I reckon. Oscar's completing his challenge, aren't you, Bobby? He's got to get all of the 50th statues, and Animal Kingdom was the one that we missed. So Bambi and Thumper are the first ones to start. We just got to Tusker House and we've been added to the walk-up list. We have, but he didn't actually say how long we'd have to wait. He just said, like, go get a notification. So we kind of, we don't want to go for a walk just in case it's like in the next five minutes. But nor do we want to sit here for like an hour, just in case. We'll give it five, ten minutes. A little less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what they say. But yay, Tusker House breakfast. I don't think the safari's opened yet in the Lima, so it's not like we're missing much. Well, unless much. you're rope dropping for flight passage, it's just nice to have a wander, isn't it? But yeah, which I think we got in the park maybe 12 minutes after rope drop, by the yeah. time we actually got in. And it was only, it's actually only 40 minutes, which I think is the shortest we've ever seen it. That's yeah. So we, we tapped in for it anyway, so we've got that to look forward to already. Everest is down, which Oscar is not happy about because he's fully, obviously, Everest to tie it up. So we're just going to sit, hopefully we'll be full for our breakfast soon. Obviously we'll take you with us, show you all the delicious Tusker House food that we eat. I think 
Thanks. Well, going for our experience at Tusker House, when we've come for like first seeing, it's always been absolutely dead yeah. inside. There's like the tables have just been completely empty. So yeah. hopefully, it is a case of they'll get a seat pretty quick. Yes, yeah. and then we can go and enjoy our day at Animal Kingdom. I've just gone for some sort of pastry so this was at like the first station now what was really good to see is that the buffets actually come back we did love the family style but I guess it's great that you can go and help yourself now so I've gone for cream cheese bagel cinnamon swirl mini chocolate twist and this says coffee cake so I was intrigued to try that Hi, say it's all sausage, omelette, bacon, watermelon, chocolate juice, also got bagels, scrambled eggs, cinnamon roll. Plate number two, we've got bacon, sausage, an omelette, and of course waffles. Gotta get that syrup. You know I had to get a giant plate of that chicken curry with the jasmine rice and even better because it is buffet style I can pick my own portion size <laughs> and I had some money left on the dining credit and then that ran out so then we have just paid obviously now on our card and then with the tip what's the total 126.74 plus tip did we enjoy our breakfast yeah yeah oh so good and I know that a lot of the buffets are going back to buffet style rather than the family style but I hadn't read that yet about Tusker House so that was a nice pleasant surprise wasn't it? Yep. Oscar does love her buffet breakfast. Well, and there's, there's just more variety wasn't there? Yeah there was lots more variety and obviously you control the portion size so <laughs> that certainly makes me happy. <laughs> now we are heading over to Pandora for Flight of Passage the sun is coming out, it's like warming up, which is nice, like thankfully, like don't want another cold day. And we're just excited, we've got the whole day ahead of us.
that's our first Animal Kingdom ride. It's just the best, isn't it? I love that. And there was more, like, I love the Banshee Flight smell. It's one of my favourites. But all the smell of the cooked grass as well. And there was, like, um, in the pink area, there was, like, a different smell in there again. So, I don't know if they're putting more smells in. <laughs> yeah, I think they changed it. What do you think they changed? Like, I think they made it where you can hear the banshee breathing. Yeah, it definitely seems a bit more intense, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is honestly. The best way to start the day in Animal Kingdom. Well, we're doing quite well. Just get house breakfast, flight passage. Very <laughs> Here's a taste then. <laughs> I'm ending up really close. Oh, look what Oscar's just found. It's a banshee that's made out of wood, like a statue. That's cool. We were debating which is one of the prettiest lands in Walt Disney World, and we really think the theming in here. We were saying we feel like this is the one where Disney just kind of threw everything at it and look at what they gave us. Ah, stunning! Keep them hidden from other predators. Hi! Are we under safari? Now coming up here to the left kind of standing up against those back rocks you are going to see a black rhino now black rhinos are the smaller of the two subspecies of rhinos they're going to weigh anywhere from about three to four thousand pounds they have a triangular shaped upper lip that acts like a big finger for them helping them grab food off branches a little bit easier there's a couple hippos here out of the water actually where there's the littlest one that you see laying up against her mom is greta she's about a year and a half old and you see those ossicones on top of their head I was talking about earlier with the oak copy. You can see those pointy things. Ossicones are not horns, they're actually bones covered in hair and fur. Drafts also have a prehensile tongue, which means their tongue acts like a big finger for them. Now that trunk is extremely strong and you can pick up entire fallen trees and move them out of the way with it. It can also be no. very, very delicate with it as well. There's two little triangle appendages on each side of the bottom of it. Oscar, did you enjoy the safari? Mm -hmm. What was the favorite animal that you saw? Uh, probably... Yeah. Ostrich. Ostrich? I mean, giraffe. Ostrich. There were so many giraffes. We loved that. We loved the giraffes. Oh, I feel like it's just really far away or just hidden. Yeah, it was difficult to see. But the weather's quite cool, actually, so there was quite a lot out. Asia, we have a little bit of time to kill before Everest. No, no, no. On our way around to Everest, we obviously had to stop for Mr. Kamal season fries. We definitely prefer, I think, is it the curry tandoori sauce rather than the ketchup? That's our favorite. I think it's tandoori mustard. And you guys don't want to mm. wait in line. And tandoori mustard. So for the season fries, we got three free ice waters, six dollars and thirty-eight cents. And Pete wanted his own. I made him share because there's some other snacks that we've got our eye on. So good snack day. What a gorgeous day.
Teach our friends. Teach our friends. Teach our friends. Not fools. The we and the young shark team. We're like sharks underneath. We never let fish our friends. Not food. Little clownfish, you're our ticket to break it free. Can you guys tell me how I get to the uh, sure we're talking to the lady? Fine. Ah, go easy on him, fellas. He lost his son, Fabio. Nemo. Any of you want a beach trip at 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney? Sydney! which we absolutely love and we felt like a little snack on the way so we stopped at Trilo Bites is it Trilo Bites or Trilo Bites? we think Trilo and for 16.59 we got the buffalo chicken chips and I got PA root beer float how are they? Okay. Oscar already had a snack by the way <laughs> Where's that buffalo chicken before? I don't know. Is it good? Yeah. Is that ranch dressing? Ranch dressing. Mm, no. So I saw these on a TikTok where I get all the food suggestions from. Um, I mean, they've given you a fork, but obviously it's crisp. So it's quite difficult with a fork. So I've got one absolutely loaded with blue cheese, chicken. Mmm. That's really good. The chicken. The chicken is like in a hot sauce. Not blow your head off half, but you can taste it. Obviously the blue cheese cools it right down. The crisps are just Like a kettle chip almost. Mm. They taste quite seasoned, the crisps. Not just like already salted or something. But like they've got a little cook. Would you say it's almost like the um, Mr. Kamel seasoning? Yeah, it's almost like a dusty kind of thing. Mm. I am indeed. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. I can see why this 
was being raved about on TikTok. That's a really good snack. Definitely a sharing snack. Mmm, I like the vegetable crisps. Mm. That seems like a really good price for, for what you get. Mm. The chips on their own were 9 59 so yeah. Oh yeah, we'll enjoy this. Okay, now Oscar's decided on a snack. What you got, Bob? Ice cream. He has a vanilla soft serve in a waffle cone, which was $5.63. Is it nice? Looks good. Brain freeze. <laughs> We're back again. I think we literally like picked up every snack from this trilobite. So I've gone for the soft serve, well, the Dole Whip, orange and vanilla, and um, I wanted it in the cup, but they brought it out in a cone, and I said, oh, I wanted it in a cup actually, not a cone, and they said, oh, well, we've made it now, so just have it. So for 5.29, we got two snacks. And now we're like fully snack overloaded now. This is orange and vanilla. <coughs> it tastes like the um, orange sherbet that you used to get in, what was it called? Dip Dab. No, it wasn't Dip Dab. Dip Dab was oh, the one with dip. the lolly. Double dip. It tastes like the orange sherbet of a double dip. That's very nice. Really refreshing, actually. We were saying how nice it is today. The weather is perfect. A little bit windy. Only ever so slightly. But it's just like a really nice summer's day. We've got our ice cream. And we just chilled out a little bit more today. Definitely a good Disney day. Oscar wins both. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> One more, Oscar. Okay. One more. <laughs> Fist bumps, Oscar. Perfect. Nice big smile. Beautiful. <laughs> fun meet and greet. Oscar loves that one and he recreated his rock paper scissors match with them from 2019. <laughs> I think you won. Yeah. You beat them both in one. <laughs> it's pretty good going. Yeah. Always a fun meet and greet and there's barely any wait time for uh, 10 minutes or so which is great. Now we're gonna head back to Pandora. We've got Navi River to ride and Flight of Passage. So we're going to head around and do that. And then I don't know what we've got planned then next. Because it's still only early, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's uh, quarter to three. 
So we should have both these rides done by half three and then we've got about three hours until dinner. So, who knows what we will do. I mean, what we did enjoy was just sitting down with a snack and a drink, watching the sight. So, we'll see. Oscar has just unlocked an achievement. What have you done? 100% in all the gold statues. All the gold statues. So we were foiled in October, weren't we? Yeah. We could only get round because the Magic Band issues. We needed to redo them, but we could only get round three parts. We only had Animal Kingdom left to do, and he's just completed it now with Bambi. What's that? That's the, to show that the Animal Kingdom is done. Yay! And that's to show that he's done every single statue. Well done, honey. That's brilliant. Oh, what an achievement. On the road. Lord, he's coming to you. Oh my god. So it goes eating, sleeping, drinking, even what? when they give birth. There's also the Patterson Elands over here, the largest antelopes. <clears throat> They're about six feet out the shoulder. Oh my god. The gosh. one thing giraffes do best is eat. Uh, they're usually always going to be eating. Either eating now or on their way to get their next food source. Uh, they have four stomachs, so they're going to spend most of their day eating. This mud helps protect oh them. Oh, like a natural sunscreen. Oh, my God. oh, I have to pile paperwork. Man. Oh, no. <laughs> they touched my truck. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, <my God>. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. He's running. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think she just went in the water. But it's gonna hit this truck. She's excited. I hope not. She's gonna take this with caution because we don't know where she is. Oh, she's been the next day. Oh my god. <laughs> This is amazing! Minus does the majority of the hunting, so they're well in a pride of mine. I like another so one there, can you see? Bring back the food for the whole pride. Their eyesight at night time is about six times greater than it is during the day. Wow! Now, while the females are doing the hunting, the males are going to be back protecting the rest of see? the pride. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was one of the best, best safaris we've ever done. So the giraffe were out walking around, which obviously gave us good vibes. But the rhino, yeah, the rhino, <laughs> the rhinos. There was a toddler rhino. <laughs> yeah. I suspect who was being a toddler. Yep. And what was that toddler doing? Uh, they were killing the truck, running and running and bashing into the truck. And bashing into its brother and just being very mischievous. But obviously, our truck had to stop because she was literally darting around, which was great to see. So good, wasn't it? 
And then the lions were all out. Yeah, that, uh, the first lion, I've never seen one that close before. No. Oh, honestly, it was just wonderful. And it's now, what time is it? Quarter to five. Quarter to five, so the sun is kind of lower. So it's very, like, it's much cooler. So it was, it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely loved that. That's made my day, that. <laughs> Our plans for this afternoon, we're going to try and do dinosaur. It's tough to be a bug. Then we, Oscar wants to do Everest one more time. And we're going to do that before we have dinner at Yak and Yeti, obviously, because it's next door. And that should take us until closing. We've just got a table at Yak and Yeti. Um, using, again, that Landry card, we waited three minutes for a table. And we were just looking at the menu and there's so many good things and we're like, oh, should we try this? Should we try that? And, um, we're going to go for the chicken tikka masala because, yes, we have it every time, but we really love it. It's so good every single time. So, yeah, there's a lot of choice. And um, we were debating whether we were going to have a starter or a dessert, but I really want the fried wontons again, which is a um, pineapple and cream cheese wonton and they're hot and fried and they tasted like cheesecake and it's really good so i'm gonna have that yeah settled <laughs> so drinks wise at yak and yeti i ordered the lychee lemonade and i can't remember if i had this before but i was i quite like lychee sweets because of those little hard boiled hard boiled clear sweets um, them so we just put them in the center of the table and then of course we went for the chicken tikka masala which comes with naan bread and rice and of course I'm going to dip some of those chips in so I did order the fried wontons and uh, yeah these are pineapple chunks that you can see they're grilled pineapple and then the wonton itself like here that's the pineapple that's the wonton and um, it's filled with a gorgeous cheesecake kind of filling with some strawberries and uh, that's a vanilla ice cream and the sauce is warm it's just very sweet it's hard to put your finger on it pineapple -y. it's very nice <laughs> So God bless David, our server, who kind of worked through it. Um, so all of our items were 87 and 5. We then had a $25 um, reward to use, so that's come off. We then had two $10 uh, gift card things, but you can only use them maximum two at a time. So those have come off, which left a balance of $46. We then actually had a gift card to use, so the... Oh, I'm confused myself now. That's the remaining balance. Oh, that's the, the remaining card. balance of the gift card, sorry. So, the $46 came off the gift card, leaving us with this. We can put the tip onto this. Landry's doesn't work it out for you, so we'll figure it out. I think it's $20 or whatever. So we'll take a $20 tip off that. That's what we've got left on our gift card. And everything's good. Yes, complicated. Well, we get there in the end. We are knackered. Rope drop to rope close. 
and we are exhausted. But what an amazing day. We love Animal Kingdom. It is the best. We've honestly had such a good day. It's been so chilled. The weather has been wonderful. Oscar's been brilliant. He's currently running around this room right now. <laughs> Where do they get their energy from? I have no idea. Do you want to come and show them what you've got? Yeah. <laughs> Oscar got a little treat. <laughs> it's... Come here. <laughs> you can't see what it is. It's an Everest blanket. Is that nice? Yeah. It's like a cape. Like a poncho. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, a really good day. Really, really, really good. Love an Animal Kingdom day. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Join us for the next one where we are at Epcot. It's Bart! Which makes us go laugh. It's um Festival of the Arts, which is a first for us at Epcot. Um we're meeting some friends. We're gonna be eating our way around all of the parts. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing everything that we can see and get involved with. I imagine that there's lots of stuff to do. And of course, Guardians, we're really hoping for our Cosmic Rewind, so we need to be up at seven to do that. So yes, join us for our next vlog at Epcot. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you again soon. Bye.